Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Welcome to Purge Week! That's right people, Purge Week. Back in 2018, 2019, I did a video series where I literally went through room by room, clearing it out, throwing out garbage, stuff I didn't need, bagging up things that could still be used by somebody else to bring it to like the Salvation Army or, you know, not-for-profit stores. Never Value Village, that guy makes way too much money off of free donations, literally charging wholesale value. And and uh, yeah, that's what I did. And that's what I'm doing again, because I've accumulated a bunch of junk that I don't need. Mainly my concern is this corner over here. This is a hooping pile of mess. I do have my green screen back here, which I use for commenting on comments. That's the green screen there. Behind it is another green screen. This is the one that connects to the chair. I got my pile of laundry here. I need to sort through that, get that all hung up and get that out of here. More laundry down below, an old printer that I'm sick and tired of spending $100 on ink. I'm just gonna spend $100 and buy a laser printer. That way there, if you don't use it, it doesn't just dry up and fail. And I always print, print black and white anyway, so that's gonna go to e-waste. I'm done with that thing, piece of shit. Um, Oreo's old bed, don't know what to do with it. The cat might like it. I might put it somewhere for the cat to sleep in and just random stuff and junk that I need to get out of here plus a box full of recyclables. I'm going to take the recyclables out now. There's a couple things I want to do. Number one, get that corner straightened out. Keep anything that's good. Toss anything that isn't. You know, basic what you do in the spring, I'm doing in the fall. Why? Because I always do things backwards and we should know this by now. Holy, that sun is bright. Currently it's Saturday and daylight savings time comes into effect today. What that means is going forward, it's gonna start getting dark at like five o'clock, 4.30. Well, on December 21st, 4.30. Cause that there is winter's equinox. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. I'm using my cell phone with that new microphone. I used it on the last video and I like the outcome. It sounded really good. Yeah, for a $40 mic setup, I'm telling you, if you use your phone as your main uh, method to record, I'd highly recommend this microphone system. It's also the mic that I used on the last episode of Commenting on Comments. Oh, well, the first episode of Commenting on Comments. I haven't filmed any more Commenting on Comments because I'm pretty far ahead right now. It is currently November, November 2nd, and this video is going up like, what, on the 18th or some shit? I don't know. I don't know, but we need to get a purge going. I came back upstairs without doing what I wanted to do, and that was to grab one of those garbage bags I bought from Dollarama, the big ones. Where the hell did I put them? Let there be light! People were complaining about the lighting down here, but whatever. So I got these heavy duty Hercules contractor bags. There's only five of them. See, this is one of the problems I'm gonna have with this purge is we do have garbage every week and recycling every two weeks and we don't do green bin recycling. Uh, down south, like in London, for instance, they do green bin recycling. What that is, is like food waste, compost, shit like that. We don't have that up here. We have garbage. You're allowed to have two bags or two cans or a bag and a can at the side of the road every week. And for me, that happens on Thursdays. Now, normally, I can go two weeks before I fill my garbage, garbage can in the garage with garbage because a lot of the stuff I buy comes in recyclable containers. Uh, they don't pack meat in the styrofoam anymore. Now they pack them in not styrofoam. They use these like plastic containers that are recyclable. So I can just fire them in the recycling bin and we call it a day. So anyway, things I wanna do, I'm gonna collapse this cot right here, put that back in the closet where it belongs, get this stuff all sorted out and figure out what the heck is in there. I know there is a backpack here. I mentioned I wanted to make a backpack for fishing. This is the backpack I'm gonna use. It's got plenty of spots on it to attach things. So my main objective was to attach shovel axe to it so that I have an axe with me while I'm out fishing for clearing out forest and stuff, or at least deadfall. So I'm gonna get cracking on this and I'll be with you guys in a minute with an update. Alrighty guys, making progress here. I uh, still got some stuff to clear out. I found a whole bunch of old jeans. I don't really wear jeans anymore. I wear cargo pants a lot of the times just because pockets put things in. In the summer, pockets are needed. I'm not wearing a big jacket. In the winter, different story. I'm wearing a big jacket, but I do love having my pockets. Now, I did come across some things that were rather upsetting, and that is these two items right here. This was like Oreo's favorite freaking toy, and his other favorite freaking toy. His little dinosaur, and his snowman chew toy. I really don't have the heart to get rid of those because like they were his favorite. Another thing I did was I moved his old bed downstairs and within minutes of doing that I came downstairs to put a load of laundry on and I look over at the bed. Scampers is in it. 
She was like sniffing and stuff. Probably smells like Oreo. Eh, probably making her happy. I just need to find a better place to put it. I am going to be tackling down here too, guys. Not sure if I'm going to move the exercise equipment around and rearrange things. Probably not. But I am definitely going to be doing some purging down here. There's the old gaming PC. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. It works. It's just... The case is, the, the power switch in the case is broken. So you have to short the main board. But yeah, she took Oreo's old bed. That cardboard has got to go into recycling. And yeah, I've just been doing some cleaning up, trying to get my office back into office type scenario. Especially if I want to start using that green screen more often. Using that for a couple videos recently really worked out nice. Uh, the one that goes in the back of the chair and the one that goes in the air. So you can wave it like you just don't care. I already did some more cleaning up in this location here, but as you see, I got a huge pile of laundry here on the floor that I need to wash. And the problem is I'm out of laundry soap. I just put a load on and I literally had to add water to the bottle to get the rest out. So I'm going to finish clearing this off. This has got to go in the laundry. N next up, I need to clear off down there all that stuff because my idea is, is to take these bins and see if I can fit them underneath the desk. And that'll give me a whole bunch more desktop space to play with for the painting booth and 3d printer and all that might be able to move the 3d printer over into that corner instead of having it in the middle of the desk because i don't really need to access it unless i need to change the filament or other things plus there's a bunch of crap here that i got to deal with as well so to go get some laundry soap we're gonna try something that i've been wanting to try for a while now oh if you're wondering what's going on with the gaming computer i'm installing video games um i'm gonna try live streaming tonight uh 2cv bloke mentioned some game called exanima or something like that it looks like it's uh another physics game kind of like half sword so i figured we'd give that a go and see how how it plays you know i want to try Try something different on the channel instead of always playing rust or duck side or whatever other game i play so what we're gonna try is we're gonna try the phone in the truck the lighting was better i know it's a complaint um i'm gonna try this thing in the truck with the phone and we're gonna do a rolling vlog to freaking walmart let's do it talk about a moment of stupidity i literally went upstairs because i'm like normally when i leave the house to go shopping or anything i always bring three things with me my wallet my phone and my keys and i couldn't find my phone Damn it, had to go back for this thing. But um, no, I couldn't find my phone. I'm filming with it. Holy. Another thing I'm gonna have to do is get a new battery for the truck, cause this one here, when it gets cold, she's not gonna be happy. So it's currently two degrees Celsius at, that's like 34 degrees Fahrenheit for you Mercas. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this thing, which is very, very easy to do with the GoPro mount in place. Just take it, find the hole and press it in. I say it's easy, but it's giving me troubles. That's fun. There we go. And then I take you guys, pinch this, and stick you guys in here. Aim it down a bit. I can't zoom that out, eh? Nope, it only gives me one X. All right, well, I'm gonna have to work with it as it is. Here's hoping the seatbelt doesn't rub up against the microphone and cause problems. I got it sticking out of my pocket right now, so that's exciting, probably not. All right, let's put her powder have at her and get over to Walmart. All right, we got some blindness happening here, but should be all right. So yeah, I figure I'll go to Walmart grab some new dish or uh, well, laundry soap i mean that's uh i only do laundry once a week it's just when i do these purges and come across laundry that i might as well just wash it up mind you i don't even know if i'm going to keep the clothes because i don't wear jeans anymore i wear nothing but cargo pants you guys might remember this drive from back in the day going to work i'm going to guesstimate that my uh lens on my phone is pretty dirty right now looking at the uh quality of the footage coming in it looks pretty hazy might be able to fix that in post-production trying to do everything from the cell phone just to see how long i can go like this until i get sick of it now i am due for an upgrade and i'm not sure if i want to go with the pixel 9 or the samsung s24 or even if that's a valid comparison because the pixel 9 just came out and the s24 is end of life as of well not end of life but is getting uh, refreshed on January 20th, I think, with the launch of the Samsung S25. But the Samsung S25 isn't coming with the feature that I was hoping it was gonna come with, and that there is the solid state battery developed by Samsung Incorporated that is being used in other products, such as uh, EVs are gonna be getting it, but that doesn't help me out. I wanted a phone with more battery life. Hmm, I just realized that this, uh, Somehow this mount is wobbling. That's neat. That's new. Not really new, but kind of annoying to be honest. But GoPro doesn't do that, but I got the anti-shake turned on, which means it crops in a bit. So it fixes the wobbles in post-production. But yeah, I was thinking about getting a new phone. If I'm gonna be vlogging with it, I might as well have something brand new. The only thing I hate about these new phones is like this one here, I have the option to use the internal memory, which is 128 gigs or a SD card. I can put a, an SD card in it up to 512 gigs 
for storing photos and videos and such. You can't do that with new phones. They don't allow it. It's like you order it with a set amount of memory and that's all you get. Because I have a lot of Spotify music stored to the hard drive or stored to the, the, the memory card. Uh, a lot of like all these videos that I'm taking right now are stored to the, the memory card. Any app data that I can store to the memory card gets stored to the memory card. And the memory card is a 256 gig and it still has 128 free. Not to mention, like, if I film in 4K, it puts it on the internal memory right away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So that's what pisses me off about these new phones. And then if you want to get a phone with bigger storage, like, let's say you want to get a half a half a terabyte of storage on your phone, they charge you so much for that storage, but it doesn't cost them that much to add it in. They just hope that you're ignorant enough to realize that, or not realize that, the cost to up to double the size of the, of the uh, NVRAM on a phone is not... It's super expensive, and that's why it doubles the price. It's like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. You're you're being dumb. You're being dumb. The controller is the most expensive part. The storage chips, not so much. And the same controller chip can be used to go from anywhere from 32 megs all the way up to, I think it's 3.2 terabytes. I think is I could be wrong on that number. I think it's 3.2 terabytes, the same that the controller chip can address up to. And all it is is you put in the start and stop bits and where they are, where the where they reside on the actual um, the actual memory chip, like the actual non-volatile RAM chip. So I don't know. These uh, these tech companies like to play prey on people who just don't know better, and it's freaking annoying. You know what? I think this car is leaving, so I'm just gonna park right here, right beside them. All right, let's go to Walmart and get some laundry soap. We got some dirty undies that need cleaning. Oh, nice. Wish I would have seen that before I started recording a while ago. You can put it into a wide angle view by going into 0.5 instead of 1x. Oh, sorry if the audio sounds weird. Uh, I got the mic in my pocket on my jacket, but all right, let's get out of here. I got back in the truck and had to check my text messages there because uh, somebody texted me in the store and I don't like, it's busy in there right now. So I don't like pulling my phone out in the store when it's busy because then it takes my attention off what's going on around me and makes it harder to like, you know, avoid people. And people will tend to walk around and not look where they're going, right? Like they're pushing the cart one direction, but they're looking another direction because something colorful caught their eye and, well, it's freaking annoying. Does this thing just rock forward? Do I need to tighten that? Well, that got super loose. I don't know why it's wobbling. I didn't have the bolt down tight enough. But anyway, yeah, I was bloke messaging me. He's, uh, he's fishing. Their fishing season doesn't end till the end of November, lucky bastard. Ours ended Halloween night. Well, Nipissing anyway. I can still go fishing, like, if I wanted to go hit up Trout Lake and try there, but that lake is hard to fish even during prime fishing season unless you have access to a boat and get to the deep waters and do some deep jigging. But just fishing it from the bank is a pain in the arse. Anywho, got my soap, almost left without it. I got distracted by $3 cheeseburgers. So I guess I'm going to have some cheeseburgers tonight after I get my cleaning done. Should be the healthy choice, right? I don't know. I haven't had bread in a while, so why the frig not? Got to eat carbohydrates every once in a while when you're on carnivore. Sometimes you just need that quick spike to rejuvenate your glucose count, and then you can go back to eating fresh. By fresh, I mean meat, meat, more meat. So we got ourselves our soap. I guess we're also getting ourselves a test for this mic in the truck. <laughs> Bloke messaged me uh, last night. He's like, uh, good video on the lure. Lure looks great. And he goes, see, I don't need to create content. He goes, I just got to take pictures and send them to you. And you'll put them in your videos and keep them updated. I talked about it last night on stream about Bloke coming back to YouTube. And like, I showed him some stuff. And he's like, oh, he goes, this is going to be so much work. I don't even know if I want to bother. He doesn't even know if his camera hold the charge anymore and like he does have a better phone than me he has the s21 i have the s20 but to have to go back into the editing and remembering how to edit will his editing software which is magix 15 from friggin way back in the day will it even talk to H hecf files or hecv files the high efficiency compression video format I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I have no way of testing it. I don't even know my install file. I'd have to go download it off Magic site again and reinstall it and test it. But like, it's a lot of work to do YouTube, unless it's a, pa like for me, it's a passion. I enjoy it. I have fun editing the videos. I have fun shooting the videos, trying to come up with ideas for the videos. That's where the problem, resi uh, problem resides. But lately I've just been asking Sora, give me an idea to make a video about 
and she just spouts out some ideas and then it sparks some ideas in my head and something farts out on that and that's probably what i'm gonna do this winter is just go that route just just bug ai for some some ideas on what to shoot and go from there because yeah unless we get ice this winter there ain't no way I'm walking on that lake. Ain't no way I'm going to be able to do ice fishing. When I say if we get ice, I mean good ice, not last year's ice where people were ice fishing, but it was like maybe three inches of ice in certain areas. Like you want to be out there with a spud bar and you want to be banging every time you take a step because where it's six, six inches of ice, two steps further out, could be two inches, could be an inch, could be open water with snow sitting on top of it. You don't know. And going through the water in the winter, it's not a fun time. You get out, you start freezing, you have 15 minutes to get to a warm spot and start bringing your body temperature up or you risk hypothermia. So I don't know about the wait and see what the uh, winter brings if it ever does bring anything currently it's six o'clock as you can see it's starting to get dark tomorrow i'll be doing this at five son of a bitch i hate that but yeah yeah daylight savings time we just need to get rid of it all right guys I'll talk to you when i get home Alrighty, guys progress has been made we've been home for a bit i cleaned up the corner what i wanted to do won't work out initially i wanted to put that thing under there but it won't fit because those are two feet tall that's one and a half feet the only way to make it fit is either a take that shelf off the bottom which ruins the structural integrity of the actual desk or b take the keyboard tray off which i also don't want to do so i just put it down there for now right next to the computer so i gotta put my laundry away i'm not even gonna worry about that um why am i in super mode all right that was weird anyway um so yeah i just put it there for now this is my bass guitar and the tripod for the green screen and then the chair green screens behind it now if only i could get this stupid piece of shit to work i could have a green screen on my chair for when i live stream but for some reason it's not getting picked up by the acer i tried it on my laptop it's also not getting picked up so i'm thinking that camera's probably toast it's just not registering on any computer i attach it to i tried installing the logitech uh the logi interface if you will but it's not working it doesn't go boot -a -doop when you plug it in so it's not detecting the device so i'm thinking it's probably just cooked which sucks because that's not a cheap webcam that's a 1080p webcam and it was like at the time the best logitech had now they have some 4k webcams that are pretty dope but yeah anyway i think i'm gonna set up a live stream tonight i got two options i got bum simulator or i got uh that other game that 2cv bloke mentioned uh uh can't remember what the hell it's called because i'm amazing with names let's see if this thing will turn on yeah it's called exanima i don't know i might give this one a try real quick off stream see how it plays and see if it's something I can get behind a no bump simulator is going to be fun but let's see what this game's like yeah i tried that game and um it's going to take some time to get used to the mechanics it's really whack so instead we are going to do oh geez cover the lens good old bum simulator I had this game on my steam want list forever and it came on sale again for the 1500th time today so i picked it up 10 bucks we'll give this a go apparently it's really funny so anyway guys that's pretty much going to be it for this video i'm going to stream and then go to bed so uh tomorrow's another day and another video yay yay so thanks for coming out hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments concerns down below they go uh leave a like and all that shit and if you want to hang out to see more hit that subscribe button anyway guys thanks for coming out thanks for watching and peace the frig out Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.